viral science the home of creativity hey friends welcome back to another video and in this video i'll show you how you can use this usb 80 tiny 85 to hack your friend's computer yes guys by plugging this device to a computer system you can hack it and i'll be showing you by plugging this into my own computer system and let's see what happens with it so right now i'm plugging this device to my computer and let's wait and let's see what happens to it So you can see a message, hey, you have been hacked and you can see all this matrix displaying from top to bottom. You can see all these numbers and by pressing any of the buttons, nothing will get happen. And if you press the mouse button, then you can see an error message. It's saying a problem has been detected and Windows has to be shut down to prevent the damage and it's getting restarted. So hey guys this was just a prank it was not actually getting hacked so what happened was if you plug this small 80 tiny 85 to any of the computer system a web page will get loaded on your browser and that web page will be a prank web page where you saw that all that green color matrix stuff the binary numbers and by pressing the mouse button it will also show a message an error message where it will tell your computer needs to be shut down to prevent the damage and it will get restarted that was just a video clip not the actual scene and that was playing on a web page so yes guys by doing this you can fool your friends by playing this prank on this small 80 tiny 85 and by this you can you can get the Wi-Fi credentials from any of the computer systems by plugging this so that's the another project and this was just a few ideas to do this you can do hell lot of things with this small 80 tiny USB so watch this video till the end if you want to do this stuff so let's get started with this video this video is sponsored by JLC PCB. JLC PCB is a good quality PCB manufacturing company and also provides SMT assembly services. It holds more than 2 lakh in stock components and provides low cost PCB assembly services in very less time. For discounts in prices, you can use coupon codes added in your accounts for new users and SMT assembly services. I have provided links in the description so you can start ordering your PCBs. So to make this project you will just need this one component that is USB ATI 85 microcontroller board and to purchase this I will provide links in the description down below. Next thing you will need is the Arduino software. Many of you might have this software because all projects are based on this software. So if you don't have you can directly download this software from the Google. It's a free software. And first we will need to install the DigiSpark board for our ATI 85. So we need to copy this URL. I will provide this URL as well then go to file preferences and over here you need to find this additional board manager urls and press this button to expand and over here press enter and paste the url on the next line so after pasting it click on ok to save it so after saving it you need to go to tools go to boards and go to boards manager over here just type dg or dg spark or anything related to it and you will find the board so you can find the dg stump avr boards we need to install these boards so click on the install button on the right side so after installing you will find these boards in the board section so again go to tools go to boards and by scrolling down you can find the digispark board so we need to select this one only default 16.5 megahertz so after installing the boards we need to install the digistump drivers so visit this link i will also provide this link as well and by scrolling down you will find this zip file of drivers that is digistump.drivers so download this file after downloading this file extract this file because it's a zip file After extracting this file, open the folders and here you will find this installation file that is 64 bit. You can find two installation files that is 32 bit and 64 bit. I am using the 64 bit one and click on yes, select next and allow installation and the drivers will get installed in your PC. So now your drivers are installed so click on finish button 
So now open the first example code uh, and in this code we are printing statements on a notepad. So first I have included the DG keyboard library. Then uh, on the first statement what we are doing is we are pressing control plus R button to open the run command. And over here we are typing notepad as you can see and after that we are hitting the enter key so notepad application will be open from here so as you can see and on this notepad application we are printing hello user so we have written this complete code into void loops and all the statements will get continuously uh, executed so to stop this we are using a null for loop so once all the statements gets executed uh, it will come out of the loop and it will only execute for the one time and make sure you add delays and don't run in a loop so now we'll select the board that is dg spark default 16.5 megahertz and we'll select the program as usb asp and we'll upload it so after compilation you need to plug the usb at tiny 85 you will get a message to plug the USB at tiny 85 so yes we got the message plug the device now so now we'll connect the USB at tiny 85 to our computer and now the code will get uploaded so after uploading the code our automated code will get executed so you can see it open uh, the notepad using run and uh, it printed the statement hello user as well so in this way this code works so now we'll change the statement and we'll try again. So instead of hello user, uh, I'll write you are hacked. So we'll upload this code. So again at the time of uploading, we'll plug our USB at tiny 85 and the code will get uploaded into it. And after uploading, the automation process started. So it opened the notepad using the run command and over here it typed you are hacked. So I hope you like this example and referring to this example we'll try one more that is uh, opening a web page from the run command. So here is the code for it. So we are doing a prank hack on the computer screen by showing a web page. So here also first I've included the DG keyboard library which we are using then we are opening the run command box and we are typing notepad then after 200 milliseconds delay then we are pressing enter and opening the notepad and after 500 milliseconds delay we are printing hey you have been hacked so we are printing 10%, 50%, 100% just a normal statement on a notepad and after that we are again opening the run command box and over here we are typing this url which will be redirected to a web page and this is a prank web page which will be showing that your system has been hacked and this kind of video stuff will be shown on that web page and then we are pressing enter key to open that URL and after that we are pressing F11 key to open that web page into a full screen mode so it will be a very quick so a user cannot identify it it's a prank going on it and again at the end we are using null for loop to execute all these statements only once so now we are uploading the code again at the time of uploading we need to plug the USB at tiny 85 board and after plugging it the code will get uploaded into the board and the automation process will get started so now we'll plug this editine 85 usb on our computer system and let's see our automation process in action so yeah it started working so you can even try other prank web pages to display it on the computer screen and fool your friends. So if you like this project then do hit that like button, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.
Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.